very much. <clears throat> My next guest is a, a very talented comedian and also an actor. He is one of the stars of a brand new motion picture entitled Aliens. Folks, please welcome back to the show, Paul Reiser. Oh, Paul! Good evening. How are you, ladies and gentlemen? Good. Good. Nice to see you. Nice to be back home in New York. I flew in yesterday. This is actually true. I would not lie to you. I don't know you that well. I flew in on a plane, which is a good thing. And a lot of people are scared of flying. I'm very good with flying. I, I, I like to fly. I, I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know what confuses me? They give you the ticket, and there's four carbon copies, and they stick that in a boarding pass, and they, they, in the folder, and they staple one of the things, and there's six different things, and the four or five people who rip things from you, they tell you to go on, and somebody else, I have no idea what they're taking. I don't know what I'm supposed to keep. I just, I feel so helpless. I feel like I'm five years old and my mother stapled money to my sleeve. You know, just, just take whatever you want. This means nothing to me. Just, will they know what this is? Because I have to go back in a week. They know what this is? All right, just tell the driver to let me off at 14th Street because I have no idea what this is. But they say they know what they're doing, so I'm all right. If they say, you know, because I believe people who, and I believe any, anything that begins with the words they say. Because I don't know who they are, but I trust them. Well, they say a lot of things. They do, and we believe them all. We don't question. You know, they say, you know what they say, cold hands, warm heart. Who says that? I don't know. They said it, and uh, I didn't check it up. I just took it at face value. Well, you know, they say you should never eat spicy food before you go to sleep. Why not? Well, that's what they say. We don't know exactly, but they say, well, what happens if I do? They'll know. I don't know. They come after you, and, and they hit you and yell at you. I'm not sure, but that's what they say. I'm pretty sure. Because people don't want to be responsible. They go, oh, that's what they say. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying that's what they say. See, people don't, if you say, I'm just saying, you're off the hook. The word just is the key word there. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying it. It's, <laughs> that just clears you of any responsibility. It's unbelievable. Even if you offend somebody, you get off the hook. See, it looks like you put on about 15, 20 pounds. You look fat. You saying I'm fat? No, I'm just saying you look fat. <laughs> But you're not saying, no, I'm not saying, I don't think you're fat, there's no thought in my head, there's no brain work. I'm just saying, my mouth is saying the words, you are very chubby. That's all I'm saying. Believe me, if I thought it, I don't know why, we trust people we know nothing about. I mean, perfect example, you go, you go to the movies and you see it's too crowded, you go back to the car and you go, honey, the 8 o'clock is sold out. How do you know? The guy said, the guy, who, who's the guy? We don't know. The guy, these are the two authorities basically running everything in the country. They and the guy, this is it. The way it works is the guy is president of they. I think that's how it breaks down there. The guy. And the guy is very important. He's the guy that everybody calls if you need anything done. Call the guy. The air conditioner broke? Call the guy. Call the guy. Honey, honey, I had the guy here yesterday. He said he couldn't fix it. The guy couldn't fix it? Are you sure this guy is good? That's what they say. All right. Why? Because we don't know, I know, we, we trust people we know absolutely nothing about. And I'll tell you something, I don't understand the concept, valet parking, I, I don't know who invented this, but it's, it is a very, very dumb idea. You, you work hard, you save up, you get a lot of money, buy yourself a nice car, and the first guy you see with a short red jacket, give him the keys. <laughs> Just give him the keys. Did you park? No, I gave it to the guy. I gave it to the guy. You gave the keys to the car to the guy? Yeah, and the house keys, too. I feel good about this guy. I trust this guy. You gave him the car? You could get ripped off. Aren't you afraid? You think I'm going to get ripped off? What, do you think I'm stupid? You're saying I'm stupid? No, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. That car's a gun. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Let's see. Paul Reiser is here. Ooh. Very funny. Very funny stuff, Ooh. again, as always. Thank you. Uh, any other people that we uh, give our lives over to that we don't know? Strangers that we trust? I don't know if we do. I do. I trust... And I, I trust people I don't know. Here's a stupid example, because I don't, I don't have... I trust anybody who's not me. Basically, that's... Sure. Everybody. Yeah. Because I figure I know nothing, they must know something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, all right, if I'm driving... This, now, this is a still example, and I don't even know why I'm sharing it. This is television. I'm driving, and it starts to rain... I can't put on my windshield wipers right away. I, I have to check other cars. <laughs> I, 
I don't know why. I figured they'll know. Is it time? Is it too soon? Is it a good rain, a bad rain? I don't know. So I look around. He's got them on. She's got them on. I'm going to put the wipers on. I feel very good now. It's a don't substantial... Don't be hasty about it. Well, yeah. yeah. You don't. Because if the rain stops, you're and then you're... the fool. Exactly. Sure. Cops yeah. pull you over, give you a ticket yeah. for just panicking unduly. <laughs> but I, you know, the perfect thing, the movie line... See, now, you go to... Uh, there's a lot of people online for a movie. Around the block on a Saturday night. Any movie... You go, you never go to the box office and check things out for yourself. You go to the last guy who, mm -hmm. who knows nothing. The man's a stranger. But you say, excuse me, is this the ticket holder's line? He says, yes. Okay, so now you stand behind him. You are committed. The man is he's an idiot. The man sure. is an idiot. Could be he's a psychopath. Yeah, he's like an idiot minus 30 seconds. That's his only thing over you. <laughs> now he knows because he asked the guy in front of him who's an idiot minus like a minute and a half. There's no... <laughs> So there's, and I'm, I'm just afraid that nobody bothered to check. And the first guy could be some psychopathic liar who's standing there, you know. And the second guy said, are you waiting to buy tickets? And the guy said, uh, yes, that's what it is. Exactly that. I'm going to buy a ticket. And you go, all right, now 7,000 people are waiting because of a lunatic. It scares me. Yeah, you, you know, this, uh, I, I just asked you earlier how many films you've been in. You've done three films, been in three motion pictures. Three and, and one that nobody ever saw. All right, but you had Diner. Was that your first one? Diner. A great film. Uh, and then uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Cop, Another good scene, movie, there, and then and now this one, Alien. Aliens, Aliens and I understand yes. this is, is uh, also quite good. Ooh, it's scary. Are we going to take a look at it? I hope so. Boy, it's clip night here, isn't it? it we is. got clips of plenty tonight, folks. Uh, what, this must be the shower scene, Can, right? Yes, it all? is. Can I just ask me what clip it is? I've always wanted to say what, this. What clip do we have? Oh, gee, I don't even have know. No idea. I always wanted you? to say okay, that. Okay, let's so take cool a look. This that. is uh, it's out now, isn't it? It's out no Friday. Friday. Okay, here it is. Another clip. Get ready. Two in one night. Ooh. Hi. Did you enjoy that? So you're in, in this movie. You're actually uh, you're actually kind of a nasty guy. It turns out, right? They say that. That's what they say. Yeah. I uh, I, I I like me. Yeah. And and how was it working with uh, Sigourney Weaver? She she is great. She is. Uh, there was a, there was a it was a nice because we played kind of rivals on the yeah. screen, but off it was great because uh, I don't know because like, she's from New York and I'm New York, so there was a nice chemistry there, and she's great. We just really enjoyed uh, kind of working together, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. she she's here. I guess we could ask her, couldn't we? Well. But, uh, Did you like working with the... we've, we've met. This is Paul Reiser. Plans was... to be in a film with you. Uh, did you enjoy working with Paul? Uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, I uh, I don't want to mislead the American people, but uh, and Paul has a nice smile, of course. But um, I just uh... I wouldn't want to go so far as to say that we we got along in any way. <laughs> I was just kind of being television polite and said, oh, she's great. I said nice things about her. I don't think her. it's nice to mislead the American people in that way, Paul. I think well, it's, it's not, really, not really the American people. It's our audience. So it's not, it's not, let's, let's not get carried away. It's a, um, no, I, just, I was just kind of, you know, sort of talk show chat saying, let me, yeah, let me, she's let me great. Ask we, you one, we have just a few seconds here left. You know, ever since we've been on the air, we've been trying to get you as a guest on this television program. And so tonight, because Mr. Big Shot is here... <laughs> You you just walk on in, but you now why why can't you just come normally like a, a regular guest and, and one night be on the show? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm you, oh, I got to say that. <laughs> I was hoping you. Would. Well, I I think it's because of the torrid off-screen affair that Paul and I had that I that I. Now is there something night. here? No, no, wait a minute. No, no, is, you don't talk about this. I'm I'm embarrassed. No, no, but no, no, no. no, no I thought this was but a show but, where anything goes. Yeah, but you're you're kidding here. But are you really kidding? It's not a matter of kidding. Oh, go ahead, fine. It's just that you have you shows. Know, he I don't... plays a beastly person, right. and he, he's in the theater, and he can't understand why people are booing him yeah. and kissing him. Yeah, well, I don't think we've even scratched the surface on this. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, okay, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll be right back, though. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Thank you so much, Johnny. I want to thank everybody who was here tonight. Of course, Paul Reiser, the lovely, the talented Sigourney Weaver. Please come back as a real guest. Yeah, because I don't think you get paid this way. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, folks. Bye-bye.